What if someone told you that roads made of trash, yes, old rubber tires, could be stronger, cheaper, and even eco-friendly? Sounds crazy, right? Not in Burkina Faso. Under the leadership of Captain Ibrahim Traore, a groundbreaking project is turning discarded vehicle tires into durable roads. These aren't just trial strips, they're now part of a full-scale national road network. So why build roads with rubber tires? The answer lies in a broken past. Burkina Faso's roads were falling apart. Villages were cut off. Ambulances stuck for hours. And in the rainy season? Entire routes would disappear. With limited budgets and foreign debt, Traore turned inward, literally picking up the trash to build a future. Thousands of worn-out tires, instead of rotting in rivers or burning in toxic landfills, are now cleaned, layered strategically, and topped with a special cement sand mix. This fusion not only bonds with rubber but also handles extreme heat and rain like a champ. Experts say it's 40% cheaper than traditional asphalt roads, and far more resilient to quakes and floods. And the best part? It's creating jobs. From tire collection to road laying, local youth are leading every step. Engineers have even started filling the tire gaps with sand or plastic composites, boosting strength even more. But this isn't just infrastructure, it's resistance. By ditching expensive imported materials like bitumen, Burkina Faso is slashing foreign dependency and rewriting the rules of development. Now, delegations from Mali, Niger, Chad, and even European environmental bodies are taking notes. For Ebrahim Traore, these roads are more than just pavement. They are proof that with local power, clean intentions, and bold ideas, even the poorest nations can shock the world. This is not just a road project. It's a revolution rubber-built, locally led, and globally watched.